guys, Jen here from Ain't and Such and Such and Be Scented Fragrance Soul Supply. I am making some Shh. We'll put it back. Okay. And I am doing um, soaps. I want to do some for uh, Valentine's Day and some geared towards the kids. Now, as you can see, I have our okay. I have our guest mold, oval mold, and I'm going to do some little fishies with the clear soap. Okay, sorry about that. Um, in the little fishies, we're going to be using the clear uh, soap. And in my hearts over here, I'm going to be doing some Valentine hearts. And I'm going to be putting our little ducks we have on the top in, on these. I think it'll be super cute. And I'm going to be using the white base for it. So... Let me get my, I think I'm going to start out with my fishies first. So let me get my scale. You'll need your scale, a microwave safe container, like this, and your soap and your fragrance. And I think the fish I'm going to do um, let's see the cherry I'm gonna use our cherry citrus smells really really good fruity and fun for kids they like that so what no uh What in the world? What in the world? Just breaking the seal to get this out. Pretty simple. Make sure you got a good knife. And I'm going to... This is a two pound block. I won't need all of it. I'll probably need about two of them. Probably, maybe less than that. And if I have extra, I've got all kinds of molds and stuff that I will um, put it in. Now, what you want to do with your melt and pour is cut it into equal smaller blocks. And what I have learned with doing the melt and pour that I do, I don't do a ton of melt and pour, but I do do some. Like with my embeds and Mom, stuff. Mom, Mom, Mom. Okay. Is that you do not want to overheat your melt and pour. Can you guys see? Yeah, I think you can. That is what I've learned. I'm just wow, cutting this up. If you overheat your melt and pour, even if it is low sweat, if you overheat it, it will sweat. So, don't overheat it. 30 second bursts. Stir it between each time. And then, um, oh, let me measure. Let me go ahead and get these all broke up. The equal cubes uh, allow for even melting. And I think I'm going to only do one block for now. Let me get my scale. And we'll measure how much we've got. Uh, it should be around eight ounces there. Hey. 
push. Because <laughs> I'm going to do this in four la in two layers. Mom. And that's right, it's 8.1 ounces. So, I'm going to pop this in the microwave, 30 second bursts. And I'll bring you guys back once it's melted. Okay, that actually only took a total of 40 seconds. I did 30 seconds, then uh, stirred it and added 20 more seconds because it was almost dissolved. So now I'm gonna add my fragrance. Um, for melt and pour, it takes less to fragrance it than it does cold process. So I'm actually gonna use about a quarter of an ounce to eight ounces, which would be half an ounce per pound. Okay. Scoot this out of my way. And I'm gonna add some of our fairy dust mica. Also, with that, a little goes a long way. It smells. Yeah, it smells really good. All right, here's our fairy dust. Huh? Who? What? Oh. I thought you were saying somebody was in the house. Just a little is what I'm going to do. Like Yeah, you said he's in here, and I'm like, who's in here? Okay, Noah. Stir, stir, stir. Mama, if a water was here, we take that gun and roll it up and shoot him. Yeah, shoot him. That way, Is that what you would do? Yeah. I'd have to take care of you boys. Okay. So let's get our mold. And I'm just pouring a little layer on the bottom. That way, our little fishies don't sink to Mama. the bottom. What, Noah? What? Actually, stop paying salt, please. Stop, please. I did not. I said don't have to make this with you. Ow! Okay, I have a little bit left, so we'll go around. chop up the other block. So I'm just going to scoot this out of the way. And I'll bring you guys back once this is all chopped up. Okay guys. Now as you can see, they've just, well you probably can't tell, but I can tell. They've just started getting a skin on them. And I'm going to very gently um, drop my little fishies on there. I hope they turn out okay. Okay. 
just very gently. And we do have these little fishies on the website. If you guys are interested in making this soap, the melt and pour is on there. It should be everything you would need. All right, and my melt and pour is almost finished. I'll bring you back in just a second. Okay, I've just added my fragrance and my fairy dust. So I'm just gonna stir, stir for a minute. Get our fishies back over here. We need to spritz it because this will help your two layers to bind together. And we're going to pour over our fishies. And I see one fishy there that is wanting to float. I'll push him back down in there. If it does come up to the top like that one, um, just get you a little stick, kind of push him back down in there. Lots of noise in the background, sorry. Kids will love these. Because then they have the little fish to play with after they've used their soap. And as you can see, I used one pound of soap. just push these to the side keep an eye on them if I see any ones that pop up I'll give them a little mush look like they're all doing fairly good besides that one that wants to hang on outside but this one these hold three ounces so I need a total of like 18 ounces of soap. And I wanna do white and blue, make it kinda of look like water. Oh, 
I love these little blocks. They're so easy to work with. Okay, there's a pound. And I'm gonna do this one also in a layer. I'll pour the base mostly and then um, let it set up pour a little tiny thin layer top and then I will put um, my little heart duckies on there on the top So I will pause you guys once I've gotten this all chopped up. Same temperature or same time in the microwave, 30 second burst. You do not want to overheat this. And I'm gonna clean my container. They're super easy to clean when you use melt and pour. It's soap, I mean, just wash it in the sink. It's soap. So it's really easy to clean your containers. These are great um, if you have kids that want to help. You can, um, you know, cut it up and get it all ready for them. Let them put the color in, the fragrance, all that. So I'll probably do this one full pound, color it, and do the base with it, and then melt just a small bit to attach my uh, duckies to. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay guys, we're back. Make sure you guys can see this okay. This is the white soap all melted down. This is one pound. It took three bursts of 30 seconds each. Now I'm going to add a little bit of fairy dust. No, sparkly waters. This is a Valentine soap. Let me get that mixed in in a minute. And a little bit of our blue waters. Micah. Let's see how that does. Stir, stir, stir. Oh, that's a pretty color. It's getting there. Okay. Yeah, can't have your tablet loud. Yeah, Noah. Okay, I'm all liking that color. Just gotta get it all melted. It's pretty and sparkly. Let's see. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a sparkle. And I'm gonna do our total seduction fragrance, which is the dupe of Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret. Just Really stirring it good. We'll also stir it good when we get our fragrance in. I'm gonna do a half an ounce. Let's see. Yeah. 
That's okay. Thank you. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Just make sure you stir really good. Make sure all your colors incorporated. I'm seeing a little speckle here and there. You also can dissolve your color in uh, glycerin. I have done that before, but mica mixes in pretty well on its own. Hold on something. So I can move it if I need to. I've measured enough, so it's all right. Pretty close. I did pretty good. on top. So, I will bring you guys back here probably about an hour. While I am waiting guys, I have a custom order for some uh, soap and they want some of uh, green uh, soap balls on the inside of the soap. So I'm going to use our mold that we have on the website. This is the 7 8 inch ball mold. And I'm going to use the clear soap. Hi guys, I, I, I now have a soap box today. And a little thing. And it's yellow. And it's a little body for Mesa to slip. And be scented, he said. And I'm just going to use half of a block. These will be unscented. I can always make more if I need it. This video may be boring to some people. But, you know, this is part of soap making. If you use melt and pour. I've started using the melt and pour for my embeds because I don't never know if I, you know, I may decide at the last minute, oh, I want to put embeds on this soap. So, uh, bring you back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. So, the lady that ordered the custom soap wants green apple uh, soap balls. So, 
Let me get our green apple. You can put this one back. I, I list all the top of them so it's easier for me to see. But sometimes I still don't see it right off. It takes me a moment. Okay, so. Get just a little bit of green. And everything is setting up nicely. Now, if you have to stop and go do something and you need to come back, you can do that. Um, like, you leave it in here and you can pop it back in the microwave for a few seconds. Austin's back. Austin's back. Like, I had to run in the living room to double check and print off um, the order to make sure of the color for the soap. And I got sidetracked and I was in there for like 10 minutes. And, um... So, yeah. <laughs> so, now I'm back. So, I'm just going to start. Okay. And what else? I'm putting all the way up. I put my brush up today. We're just going to start pouring these in here. Can they hear you? Yeah. Thank you. Can I turn by? Just be careful filling. When you get to the top, it fills up pretty fast. I don't know how many I want to do. <laughs> See, like that one I did too much, but that's okay. What I like about melt and pour is if you need to add, do more, it's easy. And these are just being the inside of the soap. And I think this will be enough for what we're shooting for. That soap making video will be next on my list of things I got to do. But I figured I would do this video because I need to make these anyways. Last one. All right. I don't think I got enough for another one. So, you can leave it just like that. These will set up fairly fast. And I'll be able to unmold these. <clears throat> so, I'll bring you guys back. Oh. Our fishies are setting up pretty good. They're not quite firm yet. You can also sit them in the fridge. Wait, wait. Hi, guys. Now, can mommy not put fish in there because they stink? <laughs> the fish themselves, um, Austin thought they stink. They're vinyl, so I guess they smell like vinyl. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. We're going to do an experiment. This is a pretty long video, but hey, yeah, oh well. This is about four ounces of soap. And I'm going to uh, try to whip it to make it have a fluffy top. Never done it before. Don't know if it'll work, but we're going to give it a shot. So I'm going to melt this in the microwave and bring you back. Okay, it just took the one 30 second burst to do this. Now, I'm going to add, I think, a little bit of purple for my top. So, let's do. Now, we have a blue base. Let's do a little bit of purple on top.
let's get our, we need to get our fragrance in here. Get this mixed. This is our purple haze mica. It's pretty. I don't know if this will work. Never done this before. But, you know. Worth a shot. Oh, I'm making bubbles. I set our soap in the fridge to set up some. bring you back okay I wanted to bring you guys back I've been whipping for like 30 seconds to a minute as you can see it's kind of getting fluffy it's got lots of air bubbles but that's fine because um, it's got to incorporate air to kind of fluff it up so I'll bring you back okay and see you guys look look at this it's kind of getting this nice texture I'm saying as it cools down, you know, it'll get thicker. So, um, pause you guys and I'll bring you back again. Okay, I think it's ready. Um, if you would want to stick that on there, but I don't like it. It's kind of gross looking. So, I'm going to stick this back in the microwave for just a few seconds and I may add just a little bit of glycerin to this to see if I can't get it to work better yeah this is a work in progress we're gonna try I don't know but I'll be back okay guys I'm going to see if I can pipe this, it may be too hard and I may have, you know, ruined this whole soap. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> this is all an experiment. I'm experimenting and playing. Because, you know, I've never messed with milk and pour. Oh shoot, I forgot to spray it with alcohol. Spritz, alcohol. Now, I wanna go ahead and while it's, stick my soap on there. Spritz it. Stick or duck on there. Sticker duck on there.
Well, we'll see how they turn out when we unmold them. Uh, let me see if my fishies are ready. I added about, um, when I was whipping that, this base color, or not the base color, the color, I added about one ounce of uh, glycerin. I'm going to pop these in the refrigerator. Hopefully we can pop them out in a minute. Fishies feel pretty firm. They look super cute. Let's see. Look at that. It's got my fingerprints on it. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest? Kids will love that. They're still a little soft pliable but look at that sorry you guys can't see what I'm doing look isn't that the cutest hair you turn the fishy the right way look at that I love it love it love it just kind of pops the seal on it and they pop right out. Melt and pour is really easy. I think kids will love these. Nice see through. Nice and clear. They're a little frosted. Had them in the refrigerator. That's my contrary fish that wanted to keep coming out. I love it. Nope, this way. These are perfect sizes for little kids. They're not big. They're just little soaps, about two ounces. And these are ready to go. I mean, it's the beauty of melt and pour. You can play and design, make all kinds of nice stuff. Molds nice and clean. Okay, guys, um, we'll bring you back again when our other ones are ready. Okay, we're almost completely done with this really, really long video. Here is my balls. We're going to unmold. Haha. <laughs> you ain't they pretty. That color. It's a mica. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Look at how sparkly and shiny. They just pop right out. Whoa, I slung that one across the counter. Not that I meant to. So these, and like if you have any extra 
just that will come right off like this one that extra will come right off these I will add to her soap this will go these will go in a two pound batch I think it's plenty of little soap balls to go down in there. Each bar will have one or two. We'll have a, a, at least two. Each bar should. Alright guys, so that's how we use that. Super easy. I love this mold. And let's check on our duckies. So let me get a little cup. We'll put those in. ready for her soap. There's that. Let's get our duckies. I had them in the freezer. Hoping to have them set up for me so I can unmold them for you guys. I'm hoping they're okay. This, the top is still a little sticky, but the bottom is ready. Oh, and you can see the glitter. Look at how cute. So I'll just not mess with the top while it's setting up. These are super cute soaps. And I'm putting them where you can't see them. Just like that. And these are my Valentine's soap. Hold 